I'm the mayor of Gulf Shores, and I don't know who represents you in our community, but I would love to have one of your guys, you if you had time, to go down and look at our beaches and tell me that what you see is effective and is working. I'd right. love to be able to show that whoever you have in charge here, if you don't have time to go, I don't know who's in charge. Well, Mayor, I, I, I know your, your frustration. You know, these are, these are beaches that for 10 years uh, I came to, the, uh, to this very place in Gulf Shores and I vacationed here. Just down 59, this very road, I've, I've, I've come here for many years. And it is very hard. It's difficult to come to and see these beaches that I, you know, I grew up on. So I know your frustration. I'd be happy to talk to you once we finish here. I'm going to add to it because I'm the mayor of Orange Beach. <clears throat> We've had 12 balls on the beach for six hours. We called at 640 this morning had nobody show up. I don't think you sense our frustration. We're the ones that are the lightning rods for our local boat. If you sensed our frustration, you would have been here a lot sooner. We've been asking for a senior BP official for four and a half weeks to come sit down, visit with us. You show up today, we don't even know you're coming. So what you say and what you do, Mr. Pryor, with all due respect, are two different things. It does nothing for me to instill confidence in me or any of my folks that you guys really sincerely about what's going on right here on the ground. And I have lots to talk to you about. Okay. Yeah, I, I, there's a lot of frustration here. I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated. I think we're all frustrated. You know, the, the folks that I've talked to, the, everybody wants really one thing, make the oil stop. And, um, you know, the thing that we focused on so much is, is, um, is a big part is to get that oil to stop. That's why I, th I think the, you know, the news that we shared, Admiral Allen shared this morning, you know, the, the, the recovery method that we have working right now with, with this cap on top of the blowout preventer, it's, it's the best method that we've had so far. By far, it's, the, it's accumulated the most oil. And um, again, you know, we're continuing to see even more success um, as we continue with that operation. We should be like Disney World. Somebody throws a piece of trash down, there ought to be somebody right behind it getting it up within 10 seconds. That, those tar balls have been on the beach for six hours this morning. They may still be there. I don't know but it's really aggravating for someone to walk in here who's never been to our town and put on a pretty rosy picture when it's just not the case. Now, contractors are hardworking guys, don't want to beat up on them, but the organizational, the lack of resources, we had a mat, a large mat of oil coming in off the beach. We spotted it through aerial reconnaissance. We got it boomed up, could not get a skimmer here in time before it made landfall. That's inexcusable. We should have skimmers lined up at this pass, at Fort Morgan, at Dolphin Island, rafted up together. There's no such thing as overkill in a situation like this. I don't care how much money BP has to spend, I want the resources here to handle any situation. I don't care what it is. That is their job. They're not doing a fa us a favor by cleaning this mess up. That is the least I expect from BP. And the claims issue is even worse. We got folks that cannot pay mortgages, cannot pay their bills because our cash flow crisis started when Memorial Day came around. That's the way the tourism industry works. We are having a nightmare, and I hope that we can shed some light on the, um, again, mode of operation uh, and get some help down here.